Let's just dive right into the passage and see what we can get. German theater practitioner Bertolt Brecht believed that theater should elicit an intellectual rather than an emotional response from audiences, provoking them to consider social and political realities that extend beyond the characters and events depicted on stage. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Let's let's well, not worry about that later. Uh, Brecht's influence can be seen in English playwright Car- Carol Churchill's 1979 play Cloud Nine. Although the play sometimes invites empathetic reactions, it primarily works to engage audiences in interrogation of patriarchy and colonialism, which it does by placing audiences at a distance, thereby encouraging them to. Oh my gosh, a lot of things here. But audiences at a distance, I get that. That seems understandable. Well, let's just focus on that. Let's see what the choices give us, right? So I don't know what's going to go in this blank. I have no clue. So sometimes you got a feeling, you're like, ah, oh, I think this is, is building towards a conclusion. Uh, I have no idea what they want here, but the choices will tell me. So it encourages the audiences to focus on the character's beliefs about social and political issues as revealed by the character's actions. Well, if we're keeping them at a distance, I don't know. Are we supposed to focus on their beliefs? Um, so let's back up a little bit. Uh, now I kind of have something to, to you got to focus on the beliefs, um, social political issues. That's something I can think about. The actions. So I don't know. Let's see. Uh, coming back here. Although the play sometimes invites empathetic reactions, it primarily works to engage audiences in an interrogation of patriarchy and colonialism. Okay, uh, like maybe. Uh, it certainly seems it's about social and political issues. I don't know about the character's actions, though. I don't know about their beliefs. Mm, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I thought I'd get something. Let's continue. Uh, B, reflect on social and political phenomena not directly related to patriarchy and colonialism. Well, why would we do that? It's an interrogation of patriarchy and colonialism. And then are we supposed to be at a distance from those things? It seems odd that we would want to make a play that's about patriarchy and colonialism, but then it's not. That seems strange. Uh, So I don't love this choice. I guess I'd get rid of it, but I barely understand it. Maybe that's a sign I'm getting rid of it is, is if it doesn't make any sense, not a good sign. Um, C, recognize pertinent, meaning um, relevant, relevant social and political parallels between Germany during Brecht's time and England at the time when Churchill was writing. No, 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 no. I know this is wrong. It's not a comparison, right? It's a classic kind of trap, even on these logic questions. Uh, We're not comparing Brecht to uh, Churchill. In fact, it seems uh, his influence is supposed to um, be here, right? They're not, we're not contrasting. Uh, We are supposed to be, this is just someone who's influenced someone else. So if we are comparing or maybe comparing the, the authors, I guess, but not where they lived, Germany and England. No, 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 no. This is just completely irrelevant. Uh, so B, uh, D, be dispassionate as they think critically about the social and political questions raised by the play. Well, dispassion is a really good word. Uh, dispassionate means like indifferent uh, or emotionless. That's probably better. Emotionless. And since we're supposed to be at a distance, I kind of like that. That's a nice little like matching idea situation. So that looks pretty good. If if I were running out of time, this is a hard module, I'd probably pick D just to put something down. But then I mark for review and I say, all right, if I come back, I'd love to be able to understand this a little bit better to get rid of A. So sometimes we have to make these kind of calls. Maybe I'm at like 80% certainty now, 70% maybe. Uh, good enough to put something and move on and have a, a pretty good shot at it. But, you know, obviously I'd love to be closer to 100% confident. So let's see if we can get there. I'm going to go back to where we didn't, I didn't really go back to before. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, Brecht believed that theater should elicit an intellectual rather than an emotional response. So now I'm making a connection I didn't see before. Uh, n- or rather than an emotional response. So no emotion is kind of what I see here. Audience at a distance. That's another repeated idea of that. That's another no emotion, right? And guess what? So is dispassionate, right? No emotion. So as they think critically about the play. Uh, So he's no emotional response from the audience, provoking them to consider social and political realities that extend beyond the characters and events depicted on stage. So Brecht's influence can be seen in this person, although the play sometimes invites empathetic reactions, emotional reactions. Uh, It primarily works to engage audiences in an interrogation of patriarchy and colonialism, meaning intellectual things, uh, uh, which it does by placing audiences at a distance. So I am more confident that D is right because that idea of being emotionless is very, very specific and in all three places, right? Twice in the passage, once in the choice. But looking at A, 
it's more just that this stuff isn't talked about. Uh, the, the, the encouraging them to focus on the characters' beliefs. I don't know what the characters believe, right? They're, the play is about, you know, uh, patriarchy and colonialism, but I don't know what the characters believe about that and uh, about social and political issues as revealed by the characters' actions. Again, it doesn't, maybe the, the key piece here is this is the, uh, uh, I know we're talking about characters, but in terms of the traps that I regularly talk about in these answer choices, this is a main character trap. The choice is about the actors or about the characters in the play. Uh, that is not what this passage is about. The passage is about the plays themselves and so, and the audiences of those plays, right? The, emo- the audience should be em- emotionless, right? So look at D. What's the main character of choice D? It's the emotion. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's the audience that is being emotionless as they critically think about uh, the social and political issues raised by the play, right? So sometimes we need that wedge, right? That thing that separates two choices that otherwise seem kind of similar. Choice A seems to be about what the uh, characters are doing. Choice D seems to be what the audience is doing. Brecht is about what the audience is doing. So we've got to go with that. But it's a tricky one, tricky one. But after I go back, I feel much more confident in D, but it helps that I had some good vocabulary. So this is a good example of how studying vocab words can help uh, even in the non-vocabulary questions.